My name is Joseph Coughlin. I'm director and founder of the MIT Age Lab here at the Center for Transportation and Logistics. Tell me a little bit more about the lab. The lab started in 1999 on paper, but 2001 we had physical space to start rethinking not just aging, but what would life tomorrow be for a lifespan that's increasingly going to be 100 years. And one of the first things we started looking at is, how are you going to get around? Before you do anything, you've got to get there first. So we started our work on looking at new technologies to ensure that older drivers remain mobile and safe. Tell me a little bit more about the history of the Age Lab and kind of the evolution and the future of the Age Lab. So the history of the Age Lab was very simple. We were interested in mobility, where people live, and to help them get around. But living longer and living better requires really creating an ecosystem of where we're going to live, what we're going to do. The disruptive demographics of an aging society is about the 50 plus population that controls 70% of the discretionary income, not just in the United States, but around the world would be the third largest gross domestic product of any country in the world. So what we now are looking at is, how do we start reinventing, shall we say, the retail experience? Where we shop, how we shop, what would we want? How about living at home? Can we envision new logistics services coming to the home with my colleagues at CTL that will envision not just convenient delivery, not just home shopping, but imagine a whole new virtual assisted living at the house? The future of logistics is to serve not just a place, but the individual customer of what they need, what they want, proactively, not just on demand. Great. Tell me a little bit more about some of the current initiatives in the lab. So we're now looking at things such as, what is the future of automation? How will the autonomous vehicle change how we live and where we live? How will automation change the home? The future of home services. Think about the logistics of living at home, having everything delivered, not just for convenience, but for care in old age. We're also looking at the workforce. Think about it today. There are five generations under the workforce umbrella, five generations of consumers. How do these different generations interact? How do they buy? How do they work? How do we manage them? And then finally, we're also looking at what's the future of design with an aging society? We've worked with retailers around the country on how to think about the store of the future, how it would be shaped, what will be the design elements within it, and frankly, how will the design of our communities enable people to stay connected longer and safely? In short, the Age Lab is CTL's face of the consumer. Tell me a little bit more about some of the tools that you're using currently in the lab. One of the great things about working with the people at CTL and throughout the Age Lab is that they're creative about developing new tools to understand how people shop, how they live, and how they move. Some of them include Agnes, the Age, Gain, Now, Empathy System. It's a suit that you put on that makes you feel like you're 75 or 80 years old with one or two chronic diseases. We have Miss Daisy, a very highly complex driving simulator. We have one of the most complex on-road vehicle experimental platforms in the world. In terms of universities, we have anywhere from three to five vehicles on the road at any given time, looking at how people study and use the technology. And finally, some of the fun stuff, so we have several consumer panels. We have a panel of 85 plus to understand how they are living and aging well, and young millennials and Gen Zers to think about how do they shop, where do they live, and frankly, what's their future in the workplace. That's great. So I'm sure this is very interesting um, and appealing to a lot of our partners. If they want to engage with your lab, what are some ways? Sure. The Age Lab works with companies of all types around the world. We work with CPG, retailers, financial services companies, insurers, and of course the auto industry and the U.S. Department of Transportation. For those companies, those organizations that would like to interact with us, we work on a number of levels. One is simply attend our events, learn about your consumer and your worker of tomorrow. If you have a special project where our interests and yours converge, let's talk about a larger partnership there. And frankly, one of the greatest values is working with all the other stakeholders who have an investment in the new longevity economy of 100 years of life. That's 100 years of consumers and 100 years of workforce. Thank you so much for the time that you invested with us today. I think the things that the Age Lab is doing are very interesting and will be very engaging. Thank you so much.